welcome to this FB Media feature game presentation. I'm Darren Lutton. It's round nine of the Mount Franklin Brisbane Women's Premier League and we're at Heath Park for the clash between Eastern Suburbs and Mitchelton FC. Now Easts have got a young side, they're blooding lots of new, young and exciting players. Mitchelton are high flying at top of the table. This is going to be a very exciting game. Let's head straight to the action. Well this looks a bit of a mismatch on paper. The Eastern Suburbs Tiger Cubs have only won two games so far this season, but their recent results have been good. Mitchelton, on the other hand, are high flying. They haven't lost a game. They've won six and drawn two, including a one-all draw last week against Logan. Wayne Cannon's in control of this game. And we're underway. Mitchelton will kick off. Only as far as Webby. So Mitchelton will have control. It's McDonald. Out wide, finds Dickinson. Dickinson still going. Early chance perhaps for the Mustangs. Headed away by Spreadborough for a corner. This is Sarah Ryan. Long ball forward. Finds Griffiths. That's deflected out. That'll be a corner. Right start by both teams so far. Net is corner. Oh, it's in the back of the net. I think that was an own goal by Emily Ribello. We better check this again on the replay. Panetta's corner looks a bit short. Ribello's clearance only finds the back of the net. Straight past Emma Taylor. And the Tiger Cubs have an early goal. This is Dickinson. Still going. Options coming in the box. Tried to find O'Grady, but only as far as Hepburn. This is Dickinson again. Can she get the better of Webby this time? Yes, she can. Oops, looks like she was fouled. Yes, and it'll be called back. Good chance for Mitchelton to get back on level terms. And Rebello all off the post. Well, she almost made up for her own goal there. We'll check that again on the replay. Good ball in for McDonald in the right area. Sped Burra can't get ahead on it. Nice touch from Rebello, but off the post. Clear from As Agostinelli, only as far as Listoza. And it's another goal! Easts two up in the 21st minute. Is the upset on tonight? Well, Rani Listoza, she's not getting much of a go on the MPL, but she's certainly making a presence felt in the Mount Franklin Women's Premier League. Too high for Taylor, 2-0 to the Tigers. Dickinson getting through a mountain of work. Cross from Dunster. It's cleared again by the East defence. They're having to work hard. Mitchelton free kick. Oh, that took a bit of a bounce. Hepburn had to be at her best to knock this away. And she was. Good technique here. Just bobbled a little bit. Lestoza. Lestoza still going. Finds Griffiths. It's in the back of the net, but it's been pulled back for offside. As we can see, yes, good call by the assistant. The stows are releasing perhaps a little bit late. O'Grady. She's been on the left. She's been up front. Now she's on the right. 
And that's a foul on Brody. Oh, and the Spreadbury gets a yellow card. She can't quite believe why. Yeah, it looks like a trip. Not sure it was all that intentional, though. Donald on the ball. The delivery's been good. And it is again. Oh, Grady snuck in. Chance for C. Deflected. Oh, nice save. Well done, Ellen Hepburn. Almost at half time, Jeff Barr will be thrilled to get his side in at 2 0 up. There's another turnover. Oh, there's Listoza. Finds Iloni Hicks, and it's 3 0. Well, the upset is well and truly on. As we can see, the turnover. Mistoza finds Eloni Hicks all on her lonesome. Sneaks the ball past the onrushing Emma Taylor. And the Tiger Cubs are 3-0 up. This is C. Finds Dickinson. Lovely through ball for Harrison. Nice save from Hepburn. She's having a great game. Cross from Listoza. It's cleared and a good clearance it is too. Here's a chance for Regan O'Grady. Hepburn comes out. Clears. Oh, there's a collision. Not too much in that though. Both look to be fine. Hicks for Webby. Griffiths. Another chance. Well, East is certainly creating a lot this evening. And Mitchelton, they've been battling hard. They just haven't quite had their good fortune tonight. This is Dickinson. What can she do? It's out for a corner. All in. Oh, it's in the back of the net. Could this be the comeback? I think that was an own goal from Ellen Hepburn. She's had a great game, but she'll be disappointed with this. Let's check this again on the replay. Looks like she's gone the punch instead of the grab. Would have been easy to have caught that. The GoPro replay. Let's have a look. Yeah, she's gone the punch and only succeeded in putting it in the back of the net. She'll be disappointed with that. Even so, Sarah Ryan, the former Macravat player. There it is, full time. Big upset on the cards that will send shockwaves through the league. Eastern Suburbs 3, Mitchelton 1. Well, Zoe, wasn't your night tonight? No, I think you jinxed us, by the way. Um, look, I'm going to use, I think, every cliche in the book for this one. Snatch and grab, that's football couldn't find the back of the net. Um, tough game, I thought East definitely out hustled us, but I mean, if you looked at the statistics, I think we had about 40 shots on goal. So we just couldn't find the back of the net tonight. Um, I thought East definitely deserved their win with their attitude. We probably deserved it with our skill. So in the end, fair result, we'll just uh, take them back to Taralba. In the first 20 minutes or so, when they had their chances, mm. they took them and yours were just couldn't find the back of the net tonight. I think you saw our keeper had nothing to do but get the ball out of the back of the net. Um, our defender, you know, it was an unlucky own goal. We never blame her for that, but I think that kind of started it. And then two shots before half time, as you said, two goals. We, we tried, we plugged away, plugged away, plugged away. Maybe there was a bit of complacency, maybe. Um, I, I couldn't fault them. I thought we worked really hard. We just, as you said, couldn't finish. Do you take anything out of tonight or do you just write it off? Um, I think we write it off because, as I said, we've been overachieving in our original goals. So this is a bump in the road, one would say, but because we've overachieved where we wanted, thought we would be, we're kind of evened out now. So, no, as I said to them, I'm not angry. We'll just take a weekend off and then I think we've got Annalie at home. Just on that, you're in first place, although that may change after this weekend. You must be thrilled with how things are going this season. Really thrilled. Um, I'm very proud for the club. Um, our president, Roger, is 
100% behind women's football and I think the fact that we've got a women's team in every division and we've actually had to send women away is speaks volumes for Mitchie and what it's done. So on the field, off the field, the top team and the fact that we're doing better than the men is another matter but no, I think I'm proud of the club in general. Jeff, you must be absolutely thrilled with that performance tonight. Yeah, stoked. The girls played unbelievably. Um, we talked about it during this week that it'd be a tough game uh, coming against the top of the table and we knew we had our work cut out for us but the way they just showed up for each other I guess in defence was, yeah, I guess, yeah, make me most proud to so, say, yeah, no, they were good. I was going to ask you if you were more pleased with your attacking or defensive effort tonight. Uh, yeah, both actually. Defensively, yeah, the, the way they worked for each other and got back and covered. Uh, we made some really good decisions up front, um, capitalised on a couple of good chances, but yeah, defensively I thought we were really good. With that win, that uh, must give the girls a lot of confidence. Are you going to set your sights a little bit higher now? Well, we had high targets from the start um, and we're, we're not um, shunning away from that yet. Uh, yes, we were down the wrong end of the table to start with, but yeah, we're well on our way up. It's a good couple of results, so um, yeah, we'll keep climbing and yeah, the Tiger Cubs will keep going up. And there's a little bit more in this side? Most definitely, they've got a bit more improvement left in them. They're quite young. Um, yeah, like I said before, in the last chat we had, we got a lot of under 20s, so yeah, they're developing quite nicely. So we've got a lot of improvement left in us, but yeah, from what we're seeing week to week, they're, they're doing well.